hi everyone and welcome back so in today's video i am going to create this nude makeup look cinnamon nude is what i like to call it along with that i am also going to try some new products from a couple of brands in this video in fact this whole look is inspired by kiro lipstick this is the Kiro Matte Lipstick in the shade Cinnamon Nude. I have it on my lips right now and I like this shade so much. It's such a beautiful brown color. It gives me fall vibes. Now Kiro is a 100% vegan, cruelty-free and clean makeup brand. Their makeup products are infused with skincare ingredients. They have some gorgeous products and for this look, I used their eyeshadow sticks and matte lipsticks. Along with that, I'm also going to try out some products I received from MAC. So let's get started. I'm starting off with the MAC strobe cream just applying a light layer all over my face i received this product in the mac x shreya jan stop drop and glow festive kit it's a really good product to apply beneath your foundation or mix with your foundation if you want a glowy look it gives a subtle overall glow to your skin makes it look healthy and plump and i'm gonna spray the mac fix plus all over my face again i received this in the mac x shreya jan pink bay festive kit I used to use the Fix Plus in a lot of my older videos. I use the spray for everything to prep my skin, to refresh my makeup or to simply set it in place. As a primer, it gives a nice tacky base for the foundation to stick on and that makes your base makeup last longer. For foundation, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Mini Foundation in NC40. MAC launched 10 shades in the Mini Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. I'm in the shade NC40 and if you've watched my older videos, you know how much I love this foundation. I used to mix it with every foundation otherwise my base felt incomplete. This shade was also my first perfect foundation match. It does oxidize a bit so keep that in mind. The coverage is medium buildable which means you can start with a medium coverage and you can build it up to full coverage. I love applying it with a foundation application brush and then I will just go in with a makeup sponge to even everything out. You should always start with the problem areas of your face. That way you will end up using way less product. Then I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer on my under eyes, chin and forehead and blend it in with a concealer brush. After this, I am going to use a translucent powder to set everything in place. I'm applying it on my under eyes and forehead mainly. Today we are going to use a bronzer. This one is from Wet n Wild and I am just going to bronze my face. Now bronzing and contouring are two very different things. In simple words, contouring is a process you do to give shape and dimension to your face. And bronzing is done to add warmth to your face. Contouring is generally done with neutral or cool tones and bronzers are generally warm toned. You can also use a bronzer to contour and that is what I am doing here. I'm kind of bronzing and contouring at the same time but I'm using a very free hand because you don't have to care a lot about placement while using a bronzer. Then I'm using the Color Bar Cheek Illusion Blush. I'm applying it on my cheeks and diffusing it in with the bronzer that I just applied. Then I'm quickly filling in my eyebrows using an eyebrow definer. All the products are linked in the description box. After filling in my eyebrows, I'm going to brush them up using an eyebrow gel. Let's move on to the eyes. For eyeshadow, I'm using the Kiro Longwear Brightening Eyeshadow Sticks. I have two shades, Sandy Copper and Peachy Gold. First, I'm going to apply Sandy Copper all over my eyelids. This is a highly pigmented eyeshadow stick that glides on your eyes. It's creamy, it's long lasting, it doesn't crease at all. I wore it for about four to five hours and it didn't crease. This shade is a copper shade that has a metallic finish. It does blend seamlessly, but you have to work quickly. Apply a little and then blend it and apply more if you have to. It's waterproof and you don't need an eyeshadow primer for this. I did not use an eyeshadow base too because the color sandy copper matches the natural color of my eyelids. It's also very hassle free. You apply it, blend it and you're good to go. And the best thing is that these eyeshadow sticks are infused with natural oils to nourish your eyelids. I'm 
I'm also applying sandy copper on my lower lash line and smudging it out. The next shade is called peachy gold. It's a peachy color with very fine gold glitter. I'm applying it on the inner third of my eyelid. This will brighten that area which means it captures more light and highlights the center of your face. I did place a bit on my inner corners as well. I also love the fact that these shades are very universal and will work on a lot of different skin tones. Plus, these shades blend so nicely with each other. No patchiness, no smudging, no creasing whatsoever. I was very impressed by both the shades. Then I'm curling my eyelashes and applying some mascara. For lipstick, I will be using the Kiro Non-Stop Airy Matte Liquid Lip in Nutmeg Nude and Cinnamon Nude. First, I'm going to apply Nutmeg Nude all over my lips. This liquid lipstick has a velvety texture. It's very lightweight, non-drying and has intense color payoff. And this shade is a nude brown with a warm undertone. It can be a very pleasing fall lip shade. Now, Kiro has some beautiful nude shades for dusky and tan skin tones in the Non-Stop Airy Matte Liquid Lipstick Collection. This lipstick has a powder matte finish and it's transfer proof too. Next, I'm going to apply the shade Cinnamon Nude on top of Nutmeg Nude. This is an amazing cinnamon brown nude. It has a neutral undertone. These liquid lipsticks are extremely comfortable and they do not settle in the fine lines of your lips. I rarely find liquid lipsticks that are this matte and do not exaggerate the fine lines of my lips. So do check these out. I think you will love the nude shades that they have. The link is in the description box. After this, I'm going to use the MAC Technicolor to tight line and this is our final step. This is your completed cinnamon nude makeup look. Do not forget to check out the products I used in today's video. I was very impressed by the Kiro products I used and you guys know I love MAC. So all of them are linked in the description box. Hope you liked this video. If you did, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.